Welcome back, lovely people. I hope you have had a, uh, a nice little break in between episodes because once again, my health got in the way. I seriously don't know what's wrong with me at the moment. I just cannot shift this cold or this cough that I've had for four months and it keeps breaking out into little mini bugs. Um, first, it was like a cold flu bug. Then I lost my voice. It's just been a nightmare. So hopefully we're on the back end of it. But honestly, I have no idea right now. But thankfully, I am well enough this evening to be able to actually record an episode of this. Um, so last time out, I thought I thought I was going to be getting to the end of the episode because I thought we were going to get to the next level, which I think was rank eight. And I thought we'd be done. No such luck. We have got yet more things to do, and I believe this one will probably be the last episode, but we've actually got uh, more things to come, if I remember rightly. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a lobster to come in, and of course we've got to get these northern sea otters into one of these polar tanks. So, let's just uh, take a moment to kind of remember what I'd done and where I'd got to. Right, so, if I remember rightly, my plan was to potentially build this dome over here. Because I don't really have any space for it, anywhere else for it to go. I don't really want to build it down here. I mean, I guess I could. Um, but it wouldn't really look right with this area over here, I don't think. So I think, realistically, this is probably the only way that this is going to work. I think that is likely to be the only thing. So, okay, what we'll do... Um, what have we what have we got to do? So it's it's ticking the boxes here because we've already got a polar dome, but we're gonna have to build another one. Uh we're gonna uh, air condition it. We got oh yeah, of course this is the enrichments that we've now got to do, or the decoration enrichments. Uh and a point value of two hundred. So and we've got plenty of money to do this, so we don't have to worry particularly about that. Um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open Open this out like this. I feel like we should probably have the stuff in the back over here. Like this. Maybe we have the dome facing that way? I think maybe we do. I think we open this, this bit out quite to quite some degree here. Um, yeah, we'll give it a bit. We'll give it a bit of that. Uh, we are going to move this. Let's move these out of the way, actually. These are going to need to find have a new home. We'll do this. Like that. And we are also going to move. Can we uh, be cheeky? We can do it like that. Oh, look at that. It's like a game of Tetris. Slide that one in there like that. We'll do it like that. This one's like that. Okay. So we'll leave that. Maybe we'll move that just over this way a little bit. Let's. Okay, well, let's put them there for now, but let's worry about what that's going to kind of look like afterwards. Uh, what we are then going to do is we can actually, in theory, close off this area here. Just purely because we're going to now be forcing people down this way. So let's move this stuff just out of the way for a second. And then we're going to do that, just to be sure, we'll go one more, and then we're going to bring them down this way, and then they will make their way up here towards the exit, like so. Uh, let us paint this area. And then, uh, we are actually going to need to open this up, aren't we? So, oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, we're going to need to do that. And now, we need to build ourselves our dome. Small polar dome, there it is. That is the biggest we can make it, which is what we'll run with. And now, 
what do we do regarding do we do it do we do it like that uh, I think we probably do yeah we'll open it up like that in fact actually what we'll do we'll go we'll actually go like that and we are going to delete that lot. And open it right out like that. It's a little bit cramped in there, but people can still get in and out. That's absolutely fine. That is not a problem. Block that side off there. So we've got plenty of space now in and around there, which is lovely. Uh, we're going to need one of them like that. Bit of that. We are currently researching this thing. We can actually kind of do with this thing. Because we are going to need... I don't know, two air conditions was enough on that one, wasn't it? So we might get away with it. So if we do it like that, we might actually get away with it. Okay. Alright, well we can probably do that then. Let's... We'll put a pump here for now, which is going to go in there. Which will be needed for... The filtering. We're not going to put any fish in this one for the moment, because I suspect the otter will eat them all. Let's go and have a look at our, uh, our thing. Oh, yeah, we've got this thing as well. So these are bully. They'll pester wimps. If there are more than one combined size of Pacific Bipermus, must not exceed 35% attack capacity. That's fine. They will grow in eight days up to size nine. It must be a super chilled tank. I'm not sure the northern... Actually, no, northern sea. They'll probably be fine with a super chilled tank. Uh, it's live sand shrimp. Requires a tank, de tank depth Sorry, of six. This is, oh, this is the vertical tank that we need, isn't it? Uh, the vertical abyssal tank. Yeah, that's what we need for that. Okay, well, let's not worry about that for now. But in order to... Uh, oh, yeah, so we actually have to complete the this one here for the Northern Sea Otters to get that vertical abyssal tank, which is absolutely fine. So they can be in super chill, which is okay. Not that it matters now. They will eat razor clams. They love plants. Active swimmers. Yes, 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 yes. Needs five or more different decorations. I mean, they've got quite the um, quite the requirement, haven't they? And they will grow up to size 28. Some animals, including the northern sea otter, require objects in their tank that provide enrichment. Enrichment gives them things to play with and helps them be stimulated. I think there's a word missing there. Enrichment works similarly to plants, rocks, and other aquascaping in that each animal adds to the total requirement of the tank. Ah. However, objects that provide enrichment are a bit different. The first object of each kind provides a lot more enrichment than subsequent ones. In other words, use a range to provide stimulation for your animals effectively. No problem. Right, let's get the rest of these guys in there. I mean, bearing in mind, they're already size 16. They're big old boys, isn't they? Mind you, no, he's got to be full size already. That's horseshit. That guy's got to be big. Yeah, he's full size. Okay. In fact... Two of them are. So we've effectively we've got we've got two adults and we've got a youngster. Okay. Um, so the air conditioning is fine. We are going to need to uh, get some filters on this now. Then water quality. They actually water quality is very very low for them. It's twenty percent. That's all they need. So we can get away with just a little tiny power filter. Then surely, what does that do? What does that do to the value? Uh, all right. On the other hand, I still needed to scratch that. Put that in. Um, we also need to chill this bad boy. Like so. Right, so from a tank requirements and temperature requirement point of view, that is all good. Um, we do need... Uh, is that so? That's a supplement cabinet there. We're gonna oh, fuck it. We'll put some more in. Uh, is supplement cabinet to go there, and we also what was the other one we needed? Was it razor clams? Wasn't it? Razor clam dispenser, like so. Uh, Skill required. Feeding this will require time consuming for stuff without skill. That's fine. We might. Didn't we have... So it's been a while since I played this. Didn't we have some kind of... 
um, card or something. Uh, supplement manual dispenser. Yeah, so we have this. I don't know. Oh, do, oh, we already had one in. We've already got one in here. Okay, fine. I, I'm assuming then that we've got only one person in here that's doing supplements. Who's the one with the supplement card? You've got that one. That's fine. So in which case, I don't want you doing supplements. And neither do you. Unless, actually, no, I'll tell you what. Since we've now got two people in there that need supplements, it probably makes sense. Uh, who was it? It was you. So let's have you with that. And you can have a second one of those. And we will put that in there like that. Okay. And it's fine. We are probably going to have to get a, a fourth staff member in here, you know. Oh, you are very good at feeding. Uh, you're good at feeding and fixing. You're hired. Okay, and zone-wise, you are going to come into zone 3, into here. Uh, zone 3 is actually going to need a little bit of extending, isn't it? So let's make sure we got that fully covered. Uh, okay, fine. So that is all the food done. Now we just need to now put some decorations. Okay, so we've got, look at all this stuff. We've got underwater rope. What does that do? That takes it up to four. Okay. Um, Arctic poppy. How do we put that on there then? Can it be placed underwater? Can it go? Okay, well, where can it go then? Oh, it can go on there. Okay, there we go. So that's six out of nine. Well, I don't have anything else uh, that will appease them in such a way. This is the decoration. I don't think this is going to do, isn't it? I like having different... I thought there was one thing in there that talked about the... Um, I'm looking at the wrong thing, aren't I, here? It's insufficient. Yeah, dec different decorations, that was it. Okay, so that's that. So it's purely now just the enrichment items. So outside of... It's adding more of these things in here. So that's seven out of nine. Requirement plus three. Oh, is it so? Oh, I see what it means. Okay, so this is what he was talking about when he was uh, mentioning about how more animals increase the, the amount. So we've got three otters, so we need nine uh, of the things to uh, to keep them all enriched. But one there, and we really need, if we can, can we squeeze another arctic poppy on the top here? There we go, we'll do that. Right, that should... There we go. That should be enough. That's a lovely little tank now. I like that. Right, well. That should be good. What's the point value of this fucking bad boy? This should be massive. Add animals until the combined value of the tank is at least 200. So do I need to add in other animals now as well? I think maybe I do. How many have we got of these other things in here? Uh, do the otters... Do, the, do these eat anybody else? They may eat or damage animals size 1 to 8. Ha. Huh. So I've got to find fish to go in there that are of size 8 from the outset. So this bull husk can go in there. That's probably going to be the only one, isn't it? He might be able... He can go in there. Um, 
or armoured, has an effective size of 10 when calculating whether a predator can eat it. I'm gonna get a couple more crabs in there then. So how do we know the uh, all requirements met? What's what's the matter? Oh, it's because they've not had any uh, had any grub. Okay, there's quite a lot to do in there. Let's get somebody else in there as well. What the other ones? Yeah, we'll get him in there, and he can just do purely feeding and nothing else. No repairing, no nothing else. But you're not even going to do supplements, you just do... Just all that stuff there, that's all you're going to do. Okay, there's our lobster. I'm not the next one. So, irritatingly then, this point value, add animals until the combined value of the tank is at least 200. So which ones did I add in? It was the crabs, wasn't it? So I've added in the crabs, that probably was a stupid idea, because they don't, they don't actually add anything. So what I'm going to do, I could, I could cheese this and do what I did before. So I could add in, do that instead. That tank is now full to the brim. And now we need another filter as well because of the amount of stuff we've got in there. Uh, let's do another pump, aren't we? I mean, once I get the all requirements met bit, I just need people to feed these damn fish and the otters. Once we get the requirements met, I can just take those um, those other fish out because they're not actually needed in there. Yeah, see, this is a problem because it takes so damn long to feed them. Here comes somebody with the uh, supplements. So how do you get better at that? Is it just... Just increasing the, uh, the feeding skill when they level up? Is that all it is? Okay, all requirements met. We should be there. Except that he's decided that He's not had enough. He's not had enough grub. More supplements go in. Hang on a minute. Do they all need? So do they have to do the supplements three times? Is it one per per animal? I think it could be. You know. There we go. We've done it anyway. Uh, Ashley, thank you so much for your help rehousing those otters. We've just finished our part of the plans with the vertical abyssal tank. The rest is up to you. So we still have more stuff to go. We've got lobsters, of course. Let's go and have a quick look at those. Holy shit, look at all these. Right. So, it can go up to size 22. It must be a cold water tank. Is it, It's not an abyssal tank. No, animal eats crabs every two days. And requires supplements. It's a cave lover. Uh, crustacean. Avoid placing this with tankmates, which are a danger crustaceans. Um, it can only be on its own. It doesn't like being with other lobster. It's a bully. Armoured size 12, will eat crustaceans, big crustaceans. Takes two two weeks, though, to grow to the big one. And it's greedy. So all in all, that's a bit of a bitch, that one. Now, the question is, is that can it go... Uh, that's not what I meant. Can it go into here? So this one is... This one's quite full up, if I remember rightly, isn't it? Is it a chilled tank or is it afraid? It's chilled only. 
Animal is size 6, though, but it is armoured when we're talking about pests. So, in, fairne in fairness, it could just go into here. So, we could just take out maybe two of those bull husks like that. In fact, take out all of them. Just do it like that. Put a lobster in there. Now it needs cave support. We've now got nowhere to fecking put it though. Um Let's have a bit of a move around here. Go in there like that, that's fine. We then need some crab dispensers. Don't know, can they walk through that gap, do you think? I don't know. Um let's stick another bull house in there just to make that tank a bit more uh bit better. Right, let's just quickly now sort out this lot. Sort out things for our guests. Okay, right, that's the arrows making them face the right way. We should probably get in some more toilets over this side, I feel. Right, now we've got to think about our zone control, haven't we? Which is the one that was doing all the toilets? Is it zone two? I think it is. there's anything going on in that area but that covers that covers everything quite nicely okay so that should be them managing those toilets and cleaning those toilets uh, we also are going to need we might need to get another person in you know for fixing stuff uh, we can also get in some more some more machines. Uh, we need some more bins around. And I mean, guidebook's a bit late by this point, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um, but a little cheeky balloon shelf. Okay, uh, who have we got that we can hire then? Feeding and talking. Feeding, fixing, gift shop. Hmm, I mean, gift shop. Could do a job in them with the gift shop stuff, couldn't he? Right, okay. So that's that done. So we've got our lobster in as well. What's going on in there? Let's have a little look. So we've got our vertical abyssal tank, as we know. Kel has leveled up. Where are you, Kel? What are you doing and where are you? So many people now. You're in zone one. You're in there. And you're currently just doing feeding. Is that what I've got you doing? Yes. So stick with the feeding for now. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. The eel has grown. Penny has also leveled up. I'm pretty sure Penny is in zone 2 as well. 
She was one of my first, or one of the first batch, was she, or reasonably? She's zone three, she's in there. Interesting, okay, so what do we want her doing? Are you one of the, you're not one of the supplement dispensers, but you are one of the ones who's gonna be involved in a lot of feeding of skilled items, so therefore we need you to level that up to do it quicker. Uh, Harry and Ulrika have also leveled up. Uh, Harry is in zone one, he's in there. Uh, what are you doing? Did I just see he was doing supplements just then? Okay, well if that's the case then let's up that feeding skill. And where is Ulrika? She's in zone one as well. She's fixing stuff with the toolkit. So up your fixing game. Job done. Okay, not worried about setting prices on those at the moment. Now Claire is leveled up. This is the problem. We have so many staff. They're just all constantly leveling up. Uh, right, where are you, Claire? You're in zone three. Um, we'll give you an extra fixing skill. So, quick take stop then. So, what we've got left is we've got this thing. This nest of vipers. We've now got the vertical abyssal tank, which in theory should be in here somewhere. Uh, yep, there it is. So the question is now then, is where do we put it and who is going to be in charge of, uh, of looking after it? I mean, it sort of makes sense for it, oh, bloody hell, it's huge. It sort of makes sense for it to go here, right? I think that's where it makes sense for it to go. Vertical Abyssal Tank will go... Does it need... Can it be bigger than that? Okay, let's open... that side out just a smidge. And we will have some padded benches. All right. Uh, right, let's get our nest of vipers in there. Got plenty of money, so we don't have to worry about that. They're tiny little things, aren't they? I need size fives. That's all they're going to be. Uh, are they, what are they, are they a danger? They're a bully. Doesn't look like they're going to eat anything, though. Does that mean... That needs an abyssal tank. So does that mean, and it can be, um, cold water or super chilled. They're a stony coral. Are these going to be okay with that? Might be able to squeeze both of them in here. I think we can. Water purity level needs to be 95%. Holy balls. Right, let's keep an eye on what we need here then. We are going to need another member of staff to come in and do this. And we're going to have to give them their own... Uh... He's only good at feeding and talking. We need somebody to come in and do repairing as well. That is not ideal. I mean, we don't have a great deal of choice. Oh, I don't want zone three there. Zone six in there. Um... Okay, this is going to get a little bit on the tricky side. Do we, un do we, oh, we got the mega chiller coming here. We kind of fucking need that. 
for the time being anyway we are going to have to go absolutely mad with these things so Uh, actually, we don't need to go quite as mad as that. That's 270. Oh, blimey, we do. We do. Okay, that one can go there. That should be enough. Is that enough to keep that shield? It is. And now, oh my god, we're not going to have enough room. We're going to have to go. We're going to have to go further back here. Um, right, large filter. Large filter. Where does that get me to? That gets me to 73%. I think I'm going to need to stick a protein skimmer and another protein skimmer. Oh, that's still not enough. We've got two large filters and two protein skimmers, and that is still not enough. The third protein skimmer doesn't get us there, so it must need a filter. How does that not get us there? Is it this? Is it the is it now the nitrate that we need? It is. It's the nitrate we need. That's obviously the uh, the thing that gets us to those higher water quality levels. Oh man. Okay. Right. Well, we've got that done. Now in here we are going to need. Uh, we are definitely going to need a tool station. And what do we need food-wise? We need live Artemia and live sand shrimp. So we've got to make two different sets of food here. <sighs> That's that one. And that one. And they both need zooplankton. Holy shit, this guy's going to be busy. Is it just zooplankton it needs? It is. Okay. And then it needs a clipboard as well, as if our poor friend didn't have enough to do. Right, well, I think that's that's that tank sorted. I just need to keep a very close eye on it, because this guy has got his work cut out. We are... Mr. Hadley, you are new to the job, and your first day on the job means that you are running this entire exhibit on your Todd. And that requires a really high skill. That one requires some skill. That requires high skill. I think we need to... I think we're going to have to swap him out. I think he's going to have to go... Where's the zones? I think he's going to have to go in, into zone 3, which is over here. And I'm going to have to steal somebody who's really highly skilled from over here to go into zone 6. So what have you got? Feeding and fixing. I think it's going to be you, isn't it? Have you got a... You yeah, have got one of those. Okay, right. We'll take that off. You're coming across into zone 6, Claire, to do it all by yourself. And then meanwhile, uh, Caleb feeding 5. You're pretty good. We'll give you the supplements instead. So in theory, that should sort it out. The only thing I need to just change quickly, wherever my guy. Oh, he's got. He's got. Has he got to go the long way round? Because I think the staff also adhere to the one-way gates. It's this guy, isn't it? The zone three. Yes. Um, you're not doing that. There we go. Is he going to adhere? No, no, he can. Okay, he can go through. That's absolutely fine. Thank you for that. Why have you got a clipboard in your hand? What's wrong with that clipboard there? Okay, well, he's doing he's doing the role. I mean, he's he's not he's doing the role, but he's not doing the role.
because he should be uh, he should be on the other side because he's in zone three. But hey, whatever. Thankfully, our lovely and talented lady here is going to come over and save the day with these guys in this area. So she's going to start dumping in there. She can literally maintain this place. She's really skilled. She is absolutely perfect for this room. Absolutely spot on perfect. I mean, look, even with her feeding skill of four, look how long that is taking. Imagine what it would have been if poor old Hadley had to do that. He'd have been there for fucking years. <laughs> the fish would have all died before he then managed to get one load of food in there. Right. Okay, so observational requirements met. That's fine. Complete Pacific Viperpish observation tasks. Uh, I haven't turned her ability to do that off, have I? No, I haven't. Right, the Mega Chiller is in. As is, we can do with that. We can do that. We'll get the popcorn thingy. I'm just wondering. I'm just going to compare costs here. So it's 358. So what's that? That's two and a half times ish the cost for a, uh, it's about the same i mean to be honest it's not that much in it and it requires fixing every four days not five days am i i'd have to i'd have to really work out the maths i mean effectively three times that take off 15 so it's 435 um for Two and a half times. Actually, no, I think it is. I think it is better. I think my maths is a little bit out. So it is better, but it requires fixing more regularly. Um, we can get. We can. You know, we can give it a try. Where the effing hell are we going to place it though? Because we don't have a great. Actually, do you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's working. It does. I suppose the upside of it. No, we are going to move it because it means there's less machines to actually repair. Um. We'll put that there. We'll put that there. Uh, just can we just do it like that for the time being? There we go. Just do it like that. That's fine. Right. We'll sell off these things. Right. We get a mega chiller in. Okay, that's enough on its own, comfortably, to the point where I think we can actually even delete that. Uh, we can, so now we can move that over over here. That can sit around the corner like that. That can sit that side, and now we've just opened it out a little bit. We've got a little bit more room. Uh, actually, that will stay there. That can that can come back here. That can go like that. Okay, there we go. So that's just uh, let's just tidy tie these things up a little bit. Maybe we'll maybe we'll move maybe move this around a little bit actually. So if we go that there like that, one mega chiller there. And one large filter down the side. All right, there we go. That's looking a little bit tidier in there now. The only thing I don't see at the moment, maybe you only have to do the um, the observations every couple of days. I'm not seeing any more observation stuff at the moment. Every two days, there you go. Every couple of days. So this one will be finished. And as you as you can see, look, reward is you win. The level will be over. Have we actually got everything in the place now? Uh, the only thing we haven't got is this frilled a gnome. That's the only thing we haven't got. Anemone, sorry. Yes, yeah, the only thing we haven't got. Otherwise, I mean, let's just just take a look, shall we? I mean, we've we've created. 
in monstrosity is there a way you know for for the benefits of of screenshots let's just do a, a, a cheeky save while we're here is there a way for taking for taking screenshots here close all windows no organize windows no toggle walls and roofs toggle warnings toggle tasks we can do that toggle warnings toggle point bubbles toggle guest needs oh this is genius toggle point totals toggle tank capacity toggle overlay okay right well oh no no bugger off we don't want that we don't want that or that okay well that's a mighty clean looking thing i can do a bit i can do a bit of work with that we'll give it one of them gotta have a look at the old otters haven't we Successful building. Lovely few screenshots there. There we go. Right, let's put them back on. And then we're we are we're done. So effectively now we're just uh, we're just waiting now for the observations to be done, and we are we're all good. So yeah, we have timed this pretty well. This is going to finish roughly around the hour mark, I think. Um, and then um, we're into the next scenario. I, I do want to keep trying this. I keep want to keep playing this. I'm really enjoying this. Views have been pretty good on this as well. So hopefully you guys are enjoying. Do let me know in the comments down below if you are enjoying this series and if you'd like to see me carry on with it. Um, we're going to... I mean, I'm going to carry on playing it regardless. You know, I'm really enjoying this. I'm really keen to see what else this game is going to add. Um, if you think about what this thing started as, I think when we first started, we had this little room here. We had this little gift shop. I think that was it. So we have literally built everything else. So this has been quite the build. And, all right, granted, it doesn't look the best. But there is, you know, there's an organization to it. We're looking from the top down, so it always looks like a little bit of chaos behind the scenes. But from a customer, consumer point of view, I would say this is a pretty good little aquarium. Um, I did see somewhere, you know, that there was a way in which... You can effectively like walk around with your in your tank. I wonder if it's one of the mods. Should we go and have a look? So there's nothing in the Steam Workshop that I can see which is about walking around the the aquarium. I'm thinking maybe I'm talking shit. Maybe that is not a thing. Uh, Jamelia and Elliot. Uh, Elliot, you're in Zone One. You're over there. Uh, be an extra feeding skill. And Jamila. You're in zone three. Uh, I feel like you should also maybe get a... Can we not give her a... A new skill? Uh... Oh, do you know what? I've... <laughs> do you know what? I've never really... For some reason, I've never looked at this. Look at this, the base skills, right? But they get... Because of their talents... Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I've not been looking at this at all. I've not been skilling these people correctly. It's like she should really be on gift shop. So I, I in the next scenario, I'm going to be paying way more attention to this. Because this would help massively with having the right people doing the right jobs. It would be incredible. I mean, for the time being, I've, you know, the horse is very much already bolted with, with that. I mean, this guy, look at this. Empathy and precision. He is one hell of a feeder. I'll give him another feeding stat. Common lobster is grown. Let's have, let's have a look at him. Oh, look, he's a big boy. Oh, think of all the, uh, think of all the grub you can get out of him. Um, right, so we are two of two or three. Let's speed things along then, shall we? To get to the, uh, the final part of this. As we are effectively now... On the home stretch. Where is she going? Fetching live are... Oh, right. She's having to walk all the way over there to go and get more food. Where the fuck... Oh, man. This ain't good. Do we need more than one? All right. We need... Apparently, we need more than one in here.
Get your ass back in here. Is that going to be the same for the sh for the shrimp? I mean, I better just to be sure I do that. Right now, go and do. You're gonna go and do, can you not do some fixing, please? Oh. Yes, I know all requirements haven't been met. Right, let's do these as a priority, please. Okay, right, so she now has the final task ahead of her, which is the clipboarding. I'm assuming she's just going to do the feeding first, though. And then once she's done that, she'll get break out the old clipboard. Nope. Mega Chella needs repairing first. And there we go. Now she will break out the clipboard. She will do so. Oh, she, that's quite cool. She can do the observing from behind the door. These, um... Cause lack of observation. Okay, I'm not sure that's a... Does the fact that we're not watching them cause them to, to, to be in danger of being killed? I mean, what are they doing? <laughs> what, what are they doing while we're not watching? Well, there we go. Magnificent. Two more fascinating species have been added to our body of research. Plus, you've given the residents of Urzu an aquarium they'll not soon forget. Replete with polar domes and more. Continue on for as long as you wish, but when you're ready, there is more research to be done on Sulasai. Regards, Sage. There we go. Well, farewell, Urzu. We nearly... We nearly got every single fish in there. We just were missing one, but Sulasai is next. This will be in the next episode, of course. But thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you did enjoy, I didn't say this at the start. My God, I'm failing miserably. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below on your thoughts. Subscribe for more and ring that notification bell for more. Upload notifications on this and all of the other content that I make. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you all in the next one.